Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Warplanes Battles Over Pacific Overview. A second game in the series, however you want to call it, campaign, DLC. I wonder if it's gonna be the same situation as Forever VR, releasing across many titles on the store. Is it a profit strategy? Are we just doing mini games and not putting everything all together? Something's definitely going on because that's not the first time this situation happens and I'm sure it's not gonna be the last. It's just weird to me, that's all. So Warplanes Battles Over Pacific is essentially the same thing as its predecessor WW1 Fighters. I actually read now they call it a sequel which no, not at all. I would for sure consider it as a DLC. A lot of things are repeating and it's still a great game. However, mechanics wise I feel like it got a little bit of a downgrade when I was in the play in the first game and now. The controls even though they were simplified kinda, it was actually harder to steer and move around shooting targets. If I'm a worse pilot than before or it's meant to be that way, no idea honestly. Graphics wise, no surprise here, it's really good. The immersion is amazing if you're flying over water and ships. Looking at the sky at stunning sunsets, just don't look at the terrain because they're just trees. Besides that, the multiplayer, customization, missions, various planes, everything's here. It's a solid warplanes title, it's just not better than the first one, that's all. Let's go flying! Packing warplanes, but it seems like another iteration of it, or campaign. We're not in a hangar though. We're over the water in the sky. I wonder if it's just gonna be a copy paste from the previous game or is it actually an upgrade? <laughs> Let's do the same thing I guess. First single player and then some multiplayer gameplay. World War II has reached the United States. After the hard blow suffered at Pearl Harbor, the US Navy rebuilds its strength and moves into the offensive. The Empire of Japan has woken a sleeping giant and it will now learn a grievous lesson. Battle has begun over the skies of the Pacific. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Commander, welcome on the Enterprise. You are cleared for takeoff. Follow the manual to your right. Move the throttle lever forward. Accelerate to 100 miles per hour and pull the stick. Okay, this is a different plane <laughs> and mechanics. Wait, what's this? Oh, no, no, no. When we reach 100, pull the sticks and take off. Oh, shit! Oh, oh no, 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 grab it! Finally airborne. Now retract the landing gear. You'll receive further orders after reaching combat area. Landing gear raised. This is the Admiral. Do you read me, Commander? I read you. You're sitting in a new machine. Before you face the enemy, familiarize yourself with the controls. The manual is on the right. Roger that. Slow down with flaps before targeting balloons. Yeah, machine guns. We're overheating too fast. There are enemy fighters near your position. Destroy them all. Copy that, Admiral. Don't touch me! <laughs> what are they? Oh. Good that I'm sitting. I'm under fire. I mean, that's the least problem of mine. Yeah, just like before, I can't fly for shit. You overheated the machine guns. Well, it's very fast. Half HP already. Okay. Table. No kamikaze. <laughs> the manual is on the right. Roger that. There are enemy fighters near your position. Destroy them all. Copy that, Admiral. Was it that help before? Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> Slow down with flaps before targeting balloons. Machine 
gun's overheated. Where's the enemy? Normally I would know there would be an indicator. I have like no idea this time around. Roger that. Enemy fighter eliminated. And now I can't there lose him. Enemy fighters near your position. Destroy them all. Copy that, Admiral. Come here. Damn it. Before I had something to deheat it. That's not the word, but. <laughs> Or now. Multiple bandits in sight. Get ready. I like shooting upside down, that's my thing, apparently. Yeah, machine guns. We're overheating too fast. The voice acting seems different. Or that it actually is here. <laughs> I forgot to talk about the graphics or just what's going on. Doesn't it seem worse? Like the terrain and stuff? I thought it was more detailed. The plane looks great. The steering... I think it's easier. Or like more simplified. Overheated the machine guns. Objective completed. One step closer to victory. Good job, Commander. That was the last enemy. Flight control will guide you to the landing on the aircraft carrier. I'm at your orders, sir. What? <laughs> We're ready for you. Approach the carrier at your discretion. Flight control to incoming aircraft. Your gear is retracted. Flaps down. Your landing gear is retracted. Pull up. What? Pull up. Your gear is retracted. Boeing landing gear. X. Gear up. Oh. <laughs> gear down and lost. Go around. You're gonna hit the deck. No. It's fine. Oh shit. Textbook landing. Yeah, no panic. Well, that was a fast tutorial. The UI, exactly the same with by airplanes, Wildcat or Warhawk. I mean, six machine guns, that seems fun to me. So we either protect the city, bombers, cutters. Yeah, let's do this. Commander, you are clear for takeoff. One, two, three. Four, five, six. What a view. Okay, where are we going? This is flight control. Retract your gear, pilot. Landing gear raised. Oh, damn. <laughs> It's like mines in the air. 
no handhold so we have trees the water looks very nice other things they're just basic but overall it gives a really good illusion Have a lot of HP. Flash down. <laughs> Is this gonna take a while? Boom down. Uh oh. I need more speed. <laughs> Up. I'll just fly fast and destroy them. Use flaps to slow down, then target the balloon. Machine guns are repeated. Are you gonna repeat that constantly? It's not that interesting to show, so let's do the multiplayer. Commander, I have a new and vitally important mission for you. Destroy enemy cutters. Engage all enemy fighters. This mission is of utmost importance. You're on. Guess a co-op mission against the AI. I'm fine with that. What the hell happened? They all teleported behind me. Maybe I'll take care of the grand targets. Got visual on enemy fighters. Use flaps to slow down before aiming at ground targets. Gotcha. I have one. There to engage. More enemies approaching. No, he was mine. <laughs> Mission critical target destroyed. I'm just playing around, doing nothing, but I'm trying. Oh my god. <laughs> no I'm just gonna chase him up until I'll get him No 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 Mission objective achieved That was the last one Good job I think that was me. Hopefully. Other <laughs> stage two. Oh shit. Boys, I'm sending you on a special mission. We know you can do it. Destroy the enemy cruiser. Eliminate the enemy destroyer. Destroy enemy cutters. Destroy all enemy fighters. Boys, time is our enemy as well. You have to be efficient. Did you hear that, boys? Objective complete. Flap down. Too fast. I don't see a problem. Objective complete. Flaps up.
Left down. <laughs> Use flash to slow down before aiming at ground targets. No, 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 not to the I've water. Got on enemy fighters. They're so fast. For some reason, I feel like even though this seems simpler, I have less control over what I'm doing. If I'm worse, or is it the actual game, I have no idea. This gameplay comparing to the other one is just so trash. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I'm trying. Yeah, this also is annoying. Oh wow, I was like touching. Flaps up. We have like one cutter and one Fighter. Mission objective achieved. Going too slow, it's gonna stall. Oof, I can't do anything. Objective complete. All targets destroyed. Mission accomplished. Cool, I guess. I apparently killed two. Which is better than half of people. I'll take it. So pretty much this is the exact same game like the first one. I'm not sure if I ever understand the reasoning behind splitting series essentially is it actually better to release it a second time around rather than a dlc to just existing project i will never tell because i'm not a developer but it's good <laughs> the mechanics are a little bit different like it's more simplified i think but i have less control over it so to my surprise i prefer the previous ones rather than those maybe it's due to those planes specifically because they have different just everything <laughs> full-blown warplanes at its finest i wanna say i'll do a campaign on it but i have too much to play apparently nowadays and i failed with the first game i will probably fail with this one as well so i'm not promising anything i seem to be even worse here but the game is cool as hell it doesn't have this magical feeling because i already seen it tried it but still for quest standards it's pretty much serviceable